in this video we will talk about a very important function that is a related table and uh, related let me show you again the relation in the relationship tab you you can see that uh, we have sales table and the product table we can take these two, two tables and the product table and uh, has one to many relationship with the sales table let's go to the data uh, pane and we can go to uh, sales table here okay and uh, if i want to get um uh, let's go to the product table and we can see that which column we we need to access so uh, what we can take we can take um maybe unit cost unit cost column from the uh, product table and we will uh, show this value in the uh, sales table as, as you can see that in the sales table we, we have more than one uh, records for each uh, product so and uh, there is uh, the direction is is one way by if we double click here the direction is single okay so we'll talk about uh, what was the meaning of both okay a uh, single side mean the if we uh, remember one rule uh, filters automatically uh, propagate from one to many side this is the one side and this is the many side but the the row context uh, does not propagate so how we how, how we we uh, propagate a uh, row context we, we, we can see with the help of an example so we can go to um, sales table this is the sales table and we can write one column here and uh, we can write the column uh, unit unit cost from product unit cost um, per, per product and uh, so how sales table will get the value for each unit cost from the from the product table we just need to write uh, related and then we can use any column like if, if i without related if i say okay uh, what about unit cost so you, you can see unit cost uh, is only uh, coming from the sales table so it's a sale unit cost sales unit discount but not but we, we are not able to find any column from the product table so what we can use here we can use here related function and uh, then uh, we can write a unit cost uh, unit cost see uh, now we, we are able to find value from the uh, product table so it's a unit cost from the product table if i hit enter and uh, i can go to in the, in, the, in the end here i can see uh, unit cost per product so these are related uh, function this allow this allows uh, a row uh, context to propagate properly from the sales table to the product table 
if we go a little bit down see it's a 200 216 and we if we go a little bit more uh, up is a 207 so it uh, depends on each um, each uh, transaction each row here so each row in the sales table is fetching the appropriate or the uh, related value from the product table so this is how related uh, works from from many side to one side because if i use a uh, related it always get one uh, record at a time we, we cannot at, uh, get more than one uh, uh, re record at a time um, let me show you with, with the example here of uh, uh, for example we have um, in the sales table we have order line number okay uh, yes this is the order line number or maybe we, we can choose um, where is the sale table and uh, we can take yes we can take the unit price and if i go to the product table this is product table and i can write one column and uh, total net okay maybe net Net price per um, transaction. Transaction. And if I if I write here um, net price, see we are not able to get any net price from the sales table here. Uh, so every every column is coming from the product table because we are already in the product table that's why we are able to see every column from the current table and the current table is the product table so if I write here uh, related and I say look if, if I write here net net price see we are, are not able to fetch any column from the sales table if, if i write here sales see the intelligence is not along is not showing me any column or any table name um, from the other or uh, table uh, beside the product okay so why it is happening because uh, uh, let's go to the diagram view in the diagram view uh, remember one thing related is will only work when we use it uh, on the many side if we use many side because a related will always give you uh, one uh, record at a time so in the sales table we have more than one transaction and uh, if we see uh, the relationship between sales and product it can be uh, one to one so we, we will get one to one record from sales to product but if we go to the product uh, uh, table and we will get more than one transaction in the sales table for each product it's possible and that's why the related function is not working and is not showing any column from the sales table or the other table other connected table so what we have to do here we have to do here a related table this one and then we can show uh, sales sales table okay
so and if i try to uh, hit enter i will get error the expression refers to multiple column because it is it is showing a uh, multiple rows for each product and whenever we use uh, when, when, when we create column we are expecting one value at a time so like a scalar value so well, what we can do is we can write one more uh, function we say okay count uh, count rows and uh, then we are using under count rows we are using um, a related table so the related table what does related table is doing Re related table is giving us uh, again one table so what's happening now uh, for each uh, product we are getting all the rows like if if there is a pro product key um, if there is a um, product key um 1825 then in the transaction table which is the sales table will give us the sum of all the or the count of all the transactions related to product 1825 okay so let's uh, hit enter and then we can go to the to the column uh, net price per transaction or we can write here um, maybe total transactions you can it's a, it's a better name see uh, 74 46 45 uh, 43 for the for, for this uh, product we are getting uh, we are get, getting 74 or transaction in the sales table for the second uh, product we are getting 46 uh, rows so how it, it it works exactly like the same if you have experience in the uh, sql if i say okay um, like a select count from the sales table where a product key is is equal to one eight two five okay so and then it goes for for every row um, in this table i hope uh, the related table and uh, related function uh, clarify the concept if you still have any doubt you can write in the comment box and i, I will try to answer you till next video uh, take care bye